Welcome to Manitoba Bush Crafting and Reviews. This is Alex. Today I'm going to do something completely different that I've never done on the channel before, and that is review uh, a piece of technology. It has nothing to do with bush crafting or uh, outdoor gear at all. But uh, my wife bought me a present for my birthday, and uh, I think it was pretty neat. But uh, it's got some problems with it, and I just wanted to get a video of this up on YouTube because there isn't many videos on how to solve the problems that I've had with this device. Uh, so I'll try and run through them as quick as I can. And this is the, uh, oh, sorry, the Fossil Ex uh, Q Explorist um, third generation smartwatch. Uh, this is not a stock watch face on it. This is something I actually whipped up on on a aftermarket app. Uh, and the problems that I've had with this smartwatch is problems with Google. So when I first got the watch, it was eating battery like crazy. So I updated the firmware that stabilized the battery on it. Then, uh, I started having problems with uh, Google, uh, like uh, OK Google, or uh, when you hold the crown button, going to the Google Assistant, like that. Uh, I was having problems sending messages, setting reminders. It would just like say, uh, cannot connect a phone, or it would take me to this little uh, menu that had like an icon of sending to the phone and then cancel at the bottom. And it would just loop on that. And the solution to this problem was to uh, download the Wear OS app, uh, the most current version of that, on the watch itself. Uh, go to. Yeah, let's just load it up here. Uh, on the Wear OS app store here. You, it's being slow. Yeah. Oh no, I don't want that installing. I don't want that installing. What's going on here? Let's just see. Okay, no, that's just everything's on pause. Anyhow, I had to revert back to an older version of Wear OS, which is the operating system that runs on this watch uh, by Google. And I had to uh, use an older version of the Google app on Wear OS. And also on your phone. Uh, the Wear OS app for your phone, I left that on an older version. And then Google on the phone, I left on an older version. I think it was maybe four or five up updates ago from this video being taken. Uh, and that actually fixed the problem. If you update to the most current version, it will be so buggy you will not be able to use this watch at all. But with it on this older version of Google on the watch and on the phone, and then Wear OS app on the watch and on the phone, it seems to run smooth. Uh, otherwise, it's a really nice watch. I uh, just wanted to get a video out on that, that problem because there's not too many people making even uh, for, uh, forum posts about this. So I figured I'd make a YouTube video. There's not much about it on YouTube either. So uh, another thing, Google, if you're watching, I want <laughs> these quotes. I want a toggle so you can turn that on and off because it's annoying. It. I think it just is a space filler basically and I would like that off uh, it depends on which version of Google you uh, decide to install on this but uh, it can if you install the wrong one it can eat your battery life like crazy like I was losing 3% every two minutes of battery life on the watch and yeah uh, you to tone the battery usage down quite a bit, 
turn Wi-Fi off, turn your display down to two. Uh, I went and made myself a developer under system. You go to the about device and then you click the build number like six or seven times and it'll say you've got developer options. Then I went into developer options. And this is just like anyone with an Android phone should be familiar with this. And then you just turn all the animations off. And it makes it snappier, and it also saves on battery. Um, if you swipe up, you got your notifications. Um, this watch uh, does have a speaker, and it does have a microphone. You can make calls off of it. That's another thing that wasn't working when I updated all of the Google software. It wasn't able to make a call or anything like that. But right now, like with these older versions of Google and Wear OS, it seems to be running fine, doing any task I tell it to, like uh, I got a bunch of smart plugs and I'm plugging all my lamps and stuff into it, and that way I can just like hold the crown down and be like, turn off light in bedroom, and it's not going to do it right now because that's not exactly how I have it set up, but uh, <coughs> uh, what was I saying? It's really late, guys. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, it, it'll control all my smart devices, like my smart plugins. Uh, it also can control my Xbox One. So I could tell it to open Netflix on the Xbox One, and it, it'll open that and bring it to whatever show I decide to watch. Um, but yeah, that problem really, really gave me grief <laughs> with this watch. I tried so many different things to get it to uh, function properly and uh, it finally took me just uninstalling everything and going look and looking online for uh, at APK files for the older versions of Google and Wear OS and uh, I found some. You, you do have to set uh, give your uh, device permission to install third-party apps or unsigned apps. So you will have to do that. Make sure you're downloading your program files from a reputable website. Don't just go for anyone and be very careful. Uh, yeah, not to br brick your device, which it could if it, it's an unsigned application. It, if you do pick one from the wrong person, it could break your device. Uh, battery life has been excellent since I've uh, uninstalled the latest versions of Google and Wear OS. Um, but I, there is a significant drain on my phone, I have noticed, because I have it paired to my phone through Bluetooth. And uh, it, it does uh, eat my phone's battery a lot faster than the watch. And uh, hopefully they fix all these issues with uh, new Google updates. But I'm like le legit scared to uh, download a new version of Google uh, and Wear OS. Because every single time I do, I get back to that same problem where the Google Voice Assistant doesn't work. Or it partially works. Like, I could set an alarm, but I couldn't set a reminder. It would just... Say it cannot connect to de uh, device or your phone or something along those lines. But yeah, it's a nice watch. Uh, if they could iron out all the bugs in Wear OS, it'd be even better. But it's working fine with these older versions of Google. Like, uh, no complaints. A little laggy. There is only a gig of RAM on this watch. And it is using the slower processor by uh, Quailcom, which you, you do see lag every now and then it'll lag and icons will pop in and that is from, you see it lag there and you will see a little bit of icon pop in every now and then because of the lack of RAM. <laughs> Anyhow, <clears throat> I, I would like to recommend this watch but I don't think I could with all the problems that, like, say say somebody who doesn't know much about sw smartwatches or technology at all, 
gets this, it takes a lot of hunting around and a lot of tinkering to finally get it to work as it's supposed to work. So until they fix Wear OS, I wouldn't recommend this watch. So that is that. If you like the video, click like. If you want to share, hit share. If you want to comment down below, do so. And if you like tech videos, hey, who knows, maybe I might do a couple more. But uh, for the majority of it, this channel is going to stay uh, outdoor gear oriented. The only reason I'm doing this is because there's no videos of this problem on YouTube. So that's why. Okay, you guys have a good day or good night or whatever it is when you watch this. Bye.